Hi, today I'm going to talk about delete operation in SQL. A delete query is used to delete an existing record in a table. So if we want to delete something, some data from a table, some uh, some tuples from a table, then we use the delete from statement or, or delete query to delete such data. The syntax of a delete query is delete from table name where condition. So the syntax says from which table you need to delete it will be specified in the table name and what all tuples you need to delete and those tuples will be selected based on the where condition. For example, a query like department from a uh, delete from department where department name like A. This query will delete all the tuples with the department name as AE from the table department. Consider this is a department table which contains three AE attributes. If we want to delete uh, a department AE, then we can write the query as delete from department where department name like A. What will happen? There is only one tuple in the department table with the department name A. That tuple will get deleted. Okay. So what if, if we want to delete all the tuples from a table? I have, I have told already that uh, the where condition will select the tuples which we want to delete. If it doesn't specify the where condition, then it will select all the tuples in that table. So writing a query like delete from department means that you need to delete all tuples from the table department. So this query will delete every tuple from the table department. So if we have a table like this and we write the delete from department this is the department table and we execute the query delete from department then all the tuples in the department table will get deleted only the schema of the department will remain in the database the table will remain in the database only the data will get deleted the delete from will delete from statement will delete the tuples in all the tuples in the uh, de uh, department table not the table department not the entire table if you want to delete the table from the database you need to use the drop query delete from queries only deletes the content or the instance of the table that means in the data inside the table are only getting deleted using the delete from statement the schema of the table will remain as such so for further examples I'm considering three tables department instructor and course here course contains four attributes course ID title department name and credits here what I go go I'm going to talk is about a referential integrity constraint how delete query is affecting based on the referential integrity constraint or the foreign key so the course contains a foreign key department name from department table and instructor table also contains a foreign key department name and the instances are as shown if you want to delete a department a you can write the query as delete from department where department like department name like a this will delete the AE department tuple from the table that means AE is already there that last tuple is deleted with this statement now I'm moving again so the delete query has nothing else to uh, study because the delete query has only this much syntax in the where condition we can give extra any kind of conditions we can use subqueries etc in the delete query 
there are some other things that we need to notice when we execute a delete query what are the effects it happens on the database it's not it's this, especially it is happening during the existence of a referential integrity so if we are going to delete all the details of CSE department from department table we write the query as delete from department where department name like CSE but here the database will throw an error when we try to execute this query we enter it and the database say this is an error we cannot execute this query we cannot delete CSE department why because in the previous case AE was the department and this department has not been referred in instructional course here department name is a foreign key in instructor and course and that means the instructor and course refers the value from department table if we delete something from department table then those the delete query will execute only if that value is not referred in any of these tables instructor or course in the previous case AE is not referred in instructor or course so we are able to execute that query and the AE department got deleted but when we try to delete CSE that value is referred in instructor table as well as course table it will give an error because the it was a violation of foreign key constraint if it is the, the value is already referred in some other tables we will not be able to delete the par uh, data from the parent table this is what actually the foreign key constraint uh, is about it will restrict any updation or deletion of that parent value is one of its function so what will you do to delete something from department table I mean something not not something but we want to delete CSE from uh, department table what we need to do is that CS we need to ensure that there is nothing refers CSE department in instructor or course table there is no tuple that means the tuple in course table or instructor table refers the CSE department then only we will be able to delete CSE from department department table for that we need to delete everything that refers CSE department from course table so we need to write a query for that delete from course where department name like CSE so the any tuple that refers to CSE department in course table will get deleted like this so one reference is our uh, deleted we need to search on other table also Instructor table also contains reference to CSE department. We need to delete that too. So we, for that we write another query delete from instructor where department name like CSE. So everything that relating to CSE department will also get deleted from instructor table. Now there is nothing references CSE department. So if when we execute delete from department where department name like CSE query and you execute this query the CSE department will get deleted only when all, all the references are deleted we are able to execute this query for that we need to f we need to first delete all the references in the child tables then only we are able to delete it from the parent table okay so every tuples in related to that value in the child tables like source and instructor has to be deleted only after that we are will be able to execute a delete query in department table for a referred value at that time after the first two queries delete queries the CSE will becomes a non referred value then only we are able to delete it okay that is actually what we are doing okay something other case 
suppose if the instructor table is written like this or they created like this in the previous examples we show the instructor table with a department name variable character 20 references department department name that's all that's only uh, where there it only specifies it is a foreign key but here we are going to specify we change a table, uh, create table query like this suppose the insert table was created with this kind of a query that means the foreign key has an extra clause specified that on delete we need to set the values null on delete set null is set on the foreign key of instructor so whenever there is a whenever a delete query occurs in a parent table that query has to be allowed and uh, allows and the database has to delete that parent value from the table after that we need to set the parent value referred in the instructor table to be null this is what actually this means and also in course table I am going to set another type with on delete cascade on delete cascade means if any value of parent is deleted that any value in this course table has also <coughs> needs to be deleted I will explain with the example so this is the table suppose this is the table we need to delete the EC department if we try, try to delete the query it is referred in this but it is referred in instructor table not in course table so we doesn't care about the course table because it is not referred in course we need to take care of the instructor table only when you try uh, write a query like this now this query will get executed because in instructor table when the table was created it is mentioned that on deleting a parent value of foreign key then the value in the foreign key attribute has to be set null so this delete operation is not restricted in parent table if we uh, execute a delete query in parent table that delete query will work it will delete the tuple ECE from the department table but at the same time an internal operation extra happens the delete query will is same there is nothing change in the delete query but inside the database some action extra actions are also done after uh, after deleting the tuple from department table wherever this value is referred in instructor table those values are set to null so this value is set to null now the value ECE is de deleted from the department table as well as in instructor table a change happens wherever ECE is referred all those uh, values are uh, updated to null or changed to null okay this happens when this query is executed we actually does in this query we actually saying only delete from department where department name like ECE that means we are asking to delete a ECE department name from department table but when we are executing this query due to the foreign key constraint inside the database in some other table like instructor some uh, value updations are happening okay so if we are going to delete CSE department from department table what will happen CSE is referred in both instructor as well as course table in course table a tuple is there which references CSE department in instructor a tuple is there which references CSE department so if you write a query like this delete from the de department where department name is like CSE department name like CSE due to the on delete cascade and on delete set null constraint mentioned this delete operation is not restricted it will allow deletion of CSE department from department table so that CSE table uh, CSE department will get deleted from the department table along with that some other actions also happens inside the database such as the in instructor table wherever CSE is referred those values are set to null and in course table wherever CSE wherever 
the CSE department is referred, those tuples are also getting deleted. That means in course table it is set as on delete cascade. So if any value in this parent table, that means our department table is deleted and that value is referred in course table, those uh, tuples which refers that value. Here there is a tuple with a course ID S1 refers department name CSE. If CSE is getting deleted, then this tuple S1 tuple is also getting deleted. The only tuple in the course table is also getting deleted. That means the delete operation is cascaded there. When there, whenever there is a no, delete operation there, all the referred values in the course table is also getting deleted. This is how it works. So when we execute this query, this is what happens. The previous, the CSE value in the department, the tuple, first tuple in the instructor table and the tuple in the course table all get affected. In department table and from course table, the values in the tuple is deleted, but in instructor table it is set as null. So the corresponding name is set to null. When talking about update query, I mentioned on update cascade is better so that whenever there is an update in the parent table that update will reflect in the child tables as well so that the corresponding update is updated in uh, the parent child tables like instructors and course but in case of delete it is better to give as set to null on delete set null is better so that the tuple in the relation or the tuple in the table will remains as such and only the referred value will be set to null because the it says the, the meaning of the tuple will be the referred department name is not existing in the department table all other data will be there in the table if it is set to on delete cascade all the data we will lose all the data is better not to lose the data so it's better to use on delete set null or on delete set default in case of delete and it's better to use on delete cascade in case of update that means on update cascade in case of update queries so in when you are uh, referencing any uh, refer uh, if you are using any referential integrity constraint in a table it's better to give on delete on delete set null and on update cascade which is a better option thank you this is for delete query if you have any questions you can please comment on the